finally put a rear end in this thing. fit on the hubs. Uh, we already got the other one stuck so we're going to uh, clean up all this rust on here and then probably clearance the inside of this a little bit too because it's just too tight. sophisticated tools here at Boost Rodeo Garage, so always make sure that you're using the proper equipment to bleed your brakes. Just pump till you get pressure and then pump and hold. If you ever get pressure. Okay, I closed it. Pump and hold again. Closed again. Be on the floor? Yeah, sorry. I think we're starting to get fluid. Like... Possible to find. Yeah, about three, what, three months? Three and a half months to find one? Yeah. And I guess we learned that 75 horsepower is more than enough to break a Toyota S Code diff, surprisingly. Yeah. What else did we learn? Toyota axles are not case hardened. They're extremely soft, surprisingly enough. Yeah, so always, always, always 
chalk them up in a press. Hammer pretty much destroyed it. Means a lot to have the right tool for the job. On top of that, they're not interchangeable. No, they're not. And it turns out that the axles from this car actually would not slide into the differential housing. The splines were slightly bigger than the one we got out of the junkyard. So even two identical year Toyota rear ends must have came out of two factories something and didn't fit. Yeah, same splines as far as spline count. Exactly. Different spline diameter. count. Yeah, just wouldn't fit. Yeah, so we went from a spare axle to no spare axles. axles and a fucked up axle in the car. Yeah, hand filed. Ground down. Hand clearance. I like it. Clearanced. So we're going to drive this one like it has glass axles? Yep. No more uh, hot laps on the street. So now this thing's got all new brakes, all new wheel bearings, all new seals, old ass differential, jacked up axles. Hopefully it holds together. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to be uh, not so much hammering the pavement, try to keep it to the dirt and the snow. So let's get this thing on the trailer and get it over to your house. All right, let's get it loaded up. Bam. How much room for activities you have, Sandoval? You can get your goats in here and do whatever the fuck you want to do with your goats. I saw the leg on that one sheep. It might be the sheep. <laughs> It's getting cold. Let's get this thing out of here. All right, let's get this sucker on the trailer. That was easy.